Hey everybody, John Bell from Widespread Panic. Uh, come visit us over in the hack. You, you have yourself in a mode of listening for making improvements. And so, but when it's in the can and it's finally done, and then, you know, you got to, hopefully you can turn off that switch and go back and enjoy the, enjoy it as a performance. But a lot of times you're still in that mode of like, man, you know, wish I had 12 more years to work on that bad boy. In an evening, well, there, there will be probably two or three half-hour stretches that the music doesn't stop because it goes from one song, a transition, and you, you do a little searching um, among each other and land on another song. And so, but that, you know, something that, where the music doesn't stop. But if one song actually, you know, he added water and it expanded, that's what happened. My first record was George Carlin, Class Clown. That was the first one I shelled out my own money for. I think the folks that come see us, they have lifestyles that are very um, adventurous and honest along those lines. And um, so, you know, we have an obligation not to BS them with our performance. You know, it's, it's, not, a, it's not a big, hey, dig me festival. Um, it's, uh, it's back to sharing something that's already there. We just happen to be playing music. They happen to be coming in and dancing. And there's a visual thing with the lights, too. You know, some of the traditional trappings are all around. But hopefully we're using those things um, in, in a way that's, uh, that's still art artistically oriented, you know, that has a, little, has a little meat to it, a little substance. You've got a lot of bands that come out and they'll, they're supporting their album in a live situation so, and they're basically playing the album. Um, so if that's all you're doing, if somebody's coming in and taping it, that, that kind of, that's like going in and, um, with your video camera and taping the, you know, when Star Wars comes out and bootlegging that and selling it to all your friends. Um, but it's because that's, that's how the movie is. It's in the can. It's going to be that way show after show. That's not the way it is with us. So the kids, um, what they're capturing is a once in a lifetime situation. And uh, so we, you know, it's not, uh, there again, our job in the studio is to come up with something that they, that is, it's cool to have, cool to buy um, for the record company standpoint, but it's something that they can't necessarily experience in a live show. Oh man, I don't, I'd say the only downside is uh, taking it for granted, because what's you know it's like it's like having your childhood friends and you know for for your whole life. And I don't know if many folks get to experience that with the uh, with the different lifestyle choices, um, job job career choices, family choices. You know that's. Uh, so it, what's happening is very special, and I think, you know, I'll probably be 80 years old before I look back and go, man, you know, I was one of the luckiest people on this earth uh, this time around. <laughs>
You know, when I'm at home, uh, I listen to uh, classical music a lot. I just usually put on the national public radio station in our town and leave it on there. And, uh, you know, I, I like listening to, uh, God, the last CD I pulled out and put on myself uh, was probably Blind Faith, uh, which we actually cover some of their songs. Uh, well, I think uh, what people uh, latch on to, first of all, is the fans of like a fish or a Grateful Dead or, or of us. You know, they they see uh, they see the fans in the parking lot before the show, and and uh, you know, I think that that's what uh, most people, if they're going to generalize, that's what they're generalizing about because the music uh, uh, between the three bands is, I think, fairly different. Uh, but uh, I think that there is a spirit in all those bands of uh, improvisation and uh, of putting on a different show every night. You know, you'd get to a town uh, halfway across the country and somebody would say, oh yeah, a friend of mine mailed me a tape from uh, Mississippi or something, you know. So um, we that's the real word of mouth. Uh, Thing that kind of has led to everything else, really. When we first started, uh, we were in an old Bluebird school bus and, you know, drove ourselves and hauled all our equipment. And, and we did that for a while. And then we had a, uh, a rider truck and a car that we traveled in. And then uh, we, had a, we bought our own truck eventually and, and uh, lost that in Tennessee. And uh, you know, finally moved up to the to the buses and the semis. So uh, we really, uh, once we got on a bus, we were in heaven. 